All right. We're live. Good. Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to convert uh, menu maps to Y maps uh, for a 5M server or 5M in general. Maybe even other things. Who knows? But anyways, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial and more of an in-depth tutorial on how to actually properly do this. I know some people might get confused on how to do it, but it's really not that hard to do. It's pretty straightforward, actually. So, of course, number one step, the first step we got to do is obviously place props or create a map with the spooner. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to place some uh, test props. Maybe I might even do this area for my server, but who knows. Uh, so first of all, what you want to do obviously is you want to make sure s normally when you load into the game and you try to press F9, it's going to tell you to open up menu first. What you do is you'd press F8 and you'd hear it beep and then it, it would pop in and out. And then you press F8 again and open up. Well, that basically activates the trainer. You press F8 the first time. So press F9 after it's activated, and this should should be like this. You should have a plus in the center of your screen, which is the crosshair for selecting things. And then after that, you're gonna want to press F. It'll bring up this object spooner menu. Then you want to do spawn entity in a world. You want to do object you can only do objects and Y maps you cannot do pets or vehicles those, those entities will not load so don't bother with um, spawning pets or vehicles save that for a separate file for something else if you want to do something like that go to object and then you have all these different lists of objects that you could choose from but to make it easier for yourself just do search and then, for example, what we'll do is, um, maybe we'll search for tent. Oh, yeah, it's not that. And then you got all these different tents you can select from, so. Don't use this one, because this one does not have any colliders. Just use these three. Just these ones. So, what we'll do, what we'll do is... I was saying about placing a tent here. Place another one. Here. Oops. Yeah, I screwed up. Apparently, this doesn't collide. Um, I don't know why it wouldn't. I guess we'll do it out here. Fuck it. So type tent, um, try to f make it more and more sense and find an even surface to place these on. Not gonna be there. I'm thinking here would be a decent spot for that one. Um, maybe another one right here. So, and after that you're gonna wanna go to manual placement at the very bottom and then lower the z-axis a little bit for them so the manual placement at the very bottom and then just uh, lower the z-axis so you can lower them a bit if you have to you can rotate them actually rotation doesn't seem to work with these oh wait maybe it does oh it does that was just off a bit and then adjust its roll. And there you can do that. So, so far we got two tents. Place a campfire. So, we'll do search. What you're going to search is fire. Don't do campfire because there's nothing named campfire. Go down up where it says prop beach fire. Prop underscore beach underscore fire. That will be your campfire that you, to, that you can place. We'll place one here. Lower the z-axis. About right there. And then... We might place a few chairs. Um, scroll through those chairs. Obviously you don't want these ones because they're too nice. You want the camp looking chairs. 
which would be or rubbish ones rubbish ones might be okay too but uh, the ones you want to be looking for will be uh, those chair outside chairs that you usually have like this one this one is one this one is a good one try to get it as much of an even service as you can I know it's not gonna be perfect but that should do so we got two chairs so right now we got prop count of five um, my maps they can hold a they, they, I mean Spooner you can only do so many props in one file but Y maps you pretty much are unlimited just about to how many props you can use I mean there is probably a limit at some point in 5M but there's such a huge amount of props that you can have in Y map format streamed to a server that um, it really has no effect on it but once you really get once you really push it it's to its limits though then it might start get an effect you'll have pool size errors and all that so now we got all these props placed we'll maybe place a corpse or two around here oops make sure you don't mistype either like uh put it we'll place this guy here and this guy here to make it look more like uh, something happened. So now, after you've done that, you're going to want to save file. In this case, I'm probably going to use this for my server. I probably might do more to it later. We'll name this Mount. I'm putting CSR there because that's the name of my server. Mount CSR Mount Chiliad. We're going to set the reference coordinates to... We'll set it right here. Press C. Now that we got the reference coordinates in place. Now all we gotta do now, we can exit spooner mode and then we can walk up there and see what it looks like. Fall. Fallen. <laughs> Man, I'll just do it this way. Quit fucking chewing on my cord, cat. Go! Stupid brat. Alright. So as you can see, we got our props here. So, after we've done this, you can minimize or close your game, it don't matter. I'll just minimize my game for the fuck of it. After you've done that, um, the next thing you're going to want to do is open up your menu to YMAP Converter Tool. Usually you want to run as administrator is the best option, so that way it doesn't have any issues with reader writing the uh, file. So after you've done that, go to File, Open. And then um, in here is where we're going to go to our Spooner folder, which is located in your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory, Menu Stuff, Spooner. Inside there is where you're going to find... Uh, the file that we made should be called ZSR Mount Chilia is right there. I just have a whole bunch of other different maps from my server and all that. But ZSR Mount Chilia is what you're going to look for, the file that we made. See, it's only 8 kilobytes because we didn't put many props in it. So after you've done that, you're going to go back to File, and then you're going to go back to Export. Or you can do Control e it's the hot key to do it. So click export. This is an open up. This is the fun part here. You gotta. This is where it converts the XML to a dot YMAP dot XML. Do not. You can save that. I like to have them in the um. Its own folder where all they got all these. These aren't actual YMAPs just yet. These are just YMAP XMLs, which holds the um piece which holds all the code and stuff for it and you can go through and modify the code if you wanted to like uh, how far you want the props to be seen things like that but by default I think it's around 5,000 or something <laughs> so after you've done that it's this is obviously gonna be blank you're gonna name it the same file that you named it with uh, Spooner 
I mean, you can name it anything, but I like to name it the same fi same in the same file name as I did with Spooner. Click save and just give it a sec or two for that. It's done saved it in there, so as you can see, it should be right here. Yep. After that, uh, open up Open IV, the tool you downloaded. It's gonna look like that with that icon. When you open it up, it's gonna uh, pop this up. All you're gonna do is select Grand Theft Auto 5 Windows, and then it's gonna start this. Now, if it's your first time launch, it's gonna ask you to find your uh, location for your GTA 5 directory. Just navigate it, follow the instructions that it says. Once it's all complete, all of this should look it should all look like this then. So now the fun part. If you haven't done yet, you can create. You can go to file and um, create a new archive. And be a RPF archive. You can put it anywhere, like on your desktop or whatever. You can name it YMAPS.RPF because that's what I did. Um, and then you would open it up. But since I already got one, um, right here, it's in my ZSR files folder. Uh, that's where I put all my YMAPS in. Make, after you've done all that, make sure you got edit mode on. So once you turn on edit mode, um, right click anywhere on the archive. Don't just drag and drop, that does not work. You have to right click and import open formats. It's right here. So click that. Then this is where you select the YMAC XML that we created, which is right here. So this is where it converts it to dot ymap. So you so you, you can add more if you wanted to, but um, you can add as many as you want. So now we press OK, converts it. As you see, it's right here. Now all we do now is we drag this and drag it out to your desktop like so. And there it is. It's a ymap. And you close this out. Um. And close this and now this is where you basically just put it in your 5m server or wherever you want to drag it to whatever you're using it for but since it, for example if, since I'm using it for a 5m server um, this is what we do so obviously if you're I don't know if you are gonna have a local one if you're using a local one you just drag and drop in the folder if you're using a remote host you're gonna have to control C or copy like this and then um, navigate to your servers uh, stream <clears throat> in this case my folder is called map optics we can name anything you want but inside there obviously is gonna be your stream folder you're gonna place it inside the stream folder and then what you do from there is just paste it in there and as you can see it's right there so now the next time that you launch the server the props should be there which I'm going to show you now so launch the 5m server that you created if you've created one um and yep so Obviously, I'm going to close GTA 5 and all that, but you get the picture. You launch the server, the props will be there. Um, anyways, I hope this tutorial helps. Uh, if you got any questions, just let me know in the comments. I'll try my best to help. Um, I appreciate you watching this tutorial. I'm going to try to do more tutorials if I come across anything. Um, anyways, I'll see you all next time.